up everybody and welcome back to house of a warrior my name is Lorraine Adoyo if you're new here karibu karibu sana um if you're an old member please keep telling a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to check us out and let's fill this house up okay um welcome back to vlogmas day three i think should be either three or four um yeah i'm at work and i'm gonna be looking around so that nobody walks in on me it's a saturday and um there's not much work to do so why not film today's video right here okay um so as you can tell from the title i want to do a 2022 year review and before i even start like let me just put a disclaimer out there i've had a pretty crappy year <laughs> it's been one of the least my least favorite years ever you know it's been a really really horrible year and so i got this idea from um, a channel i watched and i just you know took notes with her points but then with my own reality and so i hope you enjoy this video i hope you can do something like this for yourself um and just review how your year has been and just know you know just know how you did if you achieved your goals if you lived the dream if um god has been good you know first of all god god is always good you know as long as we are still alive as long as we are still kicking as long as we are still fighting god has been good yeah okay so i'm gonna start with the highlights of my year and there haven't been any like i had to search so hard i had to think so hard about what i was happy about why i was even happy about it why i can even consider it and highlight and there was barely anything you know but one thing i'm always proud of is my children and this year um alani turned four and imari turned seven <laughs> they didn't have birthday parties or even any type of celebration any type of gift this year apart from their grandma who bought both of them tablets during their birthdays thank you thank you thank you mom um nothing special happened but they turned a year older and for me that is huge you know my kids are both premature babies um the chances of them not even have made it out of the incubator were so big so for them to still be here to still be alive to still be turning a year older every other year it's a miracle for me and it's a highlight of my year however crappy the year was it's a highlight for me another highlight was uh, me getting a new job <laughs> i have been a stay at home mom for so 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 many years and um this year that changed i got a new job i am so happy about that um and so yeah i thank god for this new job i thank god for good help <laughs> and looking forward to bigger and better things in 2023 okay um let's go now into the <laughs> let's go down into the gutter you know um my disappointments um of the year <laughs> my biggest disappointment of uh, my year 2022 was my marriage um sorry to say um i <laughs> man you guys marriage um my marriage specifically this year i was just disappointed at my husband i know I'm, I'm not saying i'm perfect i know i contributed um to some of the things that happened to us in our relationship and i'm only speaking about my relationship i'm not talking about the things that happened that we had no control over but um the relationship itself um had so many downs this year um there were so many downs i don't even want to talk about it but my marriage was definitely a huge disappointment for me this year my husband was a very big disappointment for me this year and um as a man yeah you know i'm not talking about losing his job of course you all know he lost his job and no as a man as a man who's married um there are things he did which even him he knows he was not supposed to do there are things he did to me there are things he did to destroy our marriage even further and um yeah that was really really disappointing um 
wasted opportunities <laughs> wasted opportunities for me this year was my youtube i wasn't as consistent as i had told myself i would be towards the end of 2021 like this was my biggest resolution i i told myself i was gonna do great on youtube i wanted to like have hit a thousand subscribers by the end of this year that hasn't happened and i felt like it was a wasted opportunity you know i didn't keep up with my own expectations and that is solely on me that was actually um <laughs> one of my my biggest regrets i just really hope i kept with it no, no matter how hard i was having it no matter how rough my life got i f i feel like i should have just kept going with my youtube you know my biggest setback this year was when my husband lost his job and we had to move back to the village that was a really big setup you know my kids um which led to one of my failures this year as my kids stopped going to school that was a failure on my part you know on on our part as parents you know it was a really really big failure it ate me up every single day i thought about it every single day i prayed about it i cried about it but um the damage has been done and we're just hoping that we can do better from now on moving forward i'm just praying for bigger and better <laughs> you know um this this section of what I've just talked about like really made me sad like throughout the year I was just sad it messed up my mental health um, I fought demons I didn't even know I had you know um, but I remained hopeful you know that's the biggest thing I remained hopeful I I just knew something would happen I at the back of my mind I just knew that that this was not it that this was not the end for me or for my children or even for my marriage I just knew that something else was gonna come and <laughs> yeah you know that's all we have in life to just keep hope alive you know yeah anyway um <laughs> the biggest game changers you know that made me shift my priorities like Wow, the biggest game changers for me is that after all that that happened, you know, after we lost our only source of income and we had to go home, the biggest game changer came when um, I got this job and I moved my family back to the city and now we have a job. The biggest game changer for me is that now I have my own apartment, I have my own space, you know, I pay my own bills, you know. Um, <laughs> it's 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 been amazing. The last one month has been amazing. Um, my year just turned around the last one month. Only in November, in November is when things started easing up for us. And I'll take it. You know, better late than never. <laughs> so I'll take it. Yeah. Um, the biggest game changer again came. Um, where my health is concerned, because you all know I'm a sickler. And um, when we lost this job, it means we lost our health insurance. And sickle cell is a very, very, very expensive disease to manage. And um, when I couldn't afford my medication anymore, I was like, wow, you know, um, <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do, man? Like, if without these medications, I die. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. God doesn't ever give you what you can't handle. Somehow we always, I always got my medication and there were people who stood in the gap for me in terms of that and I'm very, very grateful. Very, very grateful by the way. Um, the things that I focused on this year were my children, you guys. I, I want to raise God-fearing children. I want to raise respectful, respectful children. I want to raise responsible people you know i want to raise good members of the society and also i want to like i wanted to show them this year you know that things might be bad you know that we <laughs> there might they might not be in their favorite house playing with their favorite toys and their friends and whatever but we are still together so i held them really really tight like I wanted to protect them from trauma, you know. I wanted them to know that, you know, no matter what's going on, mommy is here, mommy loves us. And I was with them every single step of the way. And um, I'm just happy I did. Um, another thing I really focused on was my health again because um, 
after we lost this job, which was pretty much early on in the year, I was like, yeah, you know, you, you better just take care of yourself, you know, because um, the thing you used to depend on is, is no longer there. It's no longer available for you, for, for you to use any time. You know, I used to just walk into the hospital and check my HB and check, you know, whatever, get whatever medication, but I couldn't. So my only option was to take really, really good care of myself, which I'm not saying I didn't do because I had insurance. No, I did. I just took extra precaution. Yep, and <laughs> I was fine, you know. Um, things worked out. I'm glad. Lastly is the things I did not do in 2022. I did not enjoy life. <laughs> 2022 made it impossible for me to enjoy life. I did not. I, I was a sad person. I was traumatized. I was emotionally tired. I was physically tired every single freaking day. And um, hey guys, so um, it's way later on in the day. Um, it's so late almost 9 30 going to 10 at night um i got so busy at work and so i had to um come do this and finish this in the house so uh we're gonna continue with the conversation we were having about my 2022 year reflections and i was talking about the things i did not do or the things that i forgot to do in 2022 and I said one was to enjoy life and the next thing I did not do or rather I just totally forgot about was to buy a camera especially now that I'm into YouTube I really wanted to buy a camera for myself this year to elevate you know the quality of my videos you know um, to just look professional in this field <laughs> and so that also didn't happen but yeah I still have time I did not also get to travel. I had prioritized that for this year. Um, I really wanted to like travel around, you know, um, outside of Kenya. Let me just say that outside of Kenya and see other places and meet new people, experience new cultures. But um, unfortunately, also that did not get to happen. And uh, lastly was also to grow my channel. I really, really wanted to grow my channel so bad in 2022 but you know i'm still here i still have a chance to do that so i'm still going to put that in my bucket list for next year and i believe that we shall still grow grow sorry <laughs> only if you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to check us out and let's fill this house up okay the people that i am so glad i had by my side you know um in 2022 one you know my children like that comes without you know um even thinking i like i don't even need to think about it if i didn't have those two kids by my side when i was going through my 2022 which was a trial you know 2022 was a test to me and i i don't think i would have made it because most of the time i woke up because of them i fought because of them like i pushed myself so hard because of them I am glad I had my family, more specifically my sisters and my aunt. Um, they were my strongest support system and, uh, you know, I wouldn't have made it through 2022 without them. And um, one other person is my friends. Um, so my friends, uh, some of them were really there for me. Um, some more than others which is you know which is normal um and um you know you when you lose you know when you lose something like i did and um you get to know who really is in your corner you know you get to know who really is a true friend and you get to know who was just there along for the ride who you know and so yeah i got to know exactly <laughs> who my friends are and um I'm really grateful for those that stuck by me. I'm really glad that I had you by my side. And, um, you know, may everything good that you wish for or pray for come true because I cannot live long enough to repay you for 
everything you've done for me in 2022 you know and that was my last point yeah so it wasn't even much um stuff left anyway um i'm so glad i got to listen to that video that i saw that gave me the inspiration for this one because it got me thinking and <laughs> um just you know um things happen for a reason and i'm glad this happened and i'm hoping i'm not in god's list of his strongest warriors for 2023 again no um, god please I, I cannot i cannot do this again <laughs> i cannot live through another year like this one has been you know i lost um my grandfather in 2022 um he was like you know that my my dad's dad and so it was just a tough year in a nutshell you know and i'm so glad it's coming to an end you guys <laughs> like uh, the way that I, I cannot wait for 2023 i i don't know what is in store for me i don't know what to expect but i am really really i'm trying so hard to live a positive life right now positive in such a way that i am trying really hard to be present um in the moment to be happy i am so searching myself for joy because these are some of the things that i deprived myself of in the past months and it's not nice to live like that <laughs> yeah so i am really hoping for a bright 2023 and a successful one at that you know and so that is the end <laughs> of my year reflection and um, Please keep telling a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to check us out and let's fill this house up and I will see you. Please come back tomorrow and watch another video because we are still on this consistent train. So um, come back tomorrow and I'm sure you'll find another interesting video. But for now, good night. Peace.